how can we pass the CK exam? It's widely recognized in the industry due to its affiliations with CNCF. Professionals who hold the CKA certification are often seen as valuable assets to organizations. Passing the CK exam isn't very difficult if you have the right learning path. Here is the syllabus to get certified for the CKA exam. Cluster architecture, installation and configuration, workloads and scheduling, services and networking, storage and troubleshooting. Understanding the cluster architecture practically will help us to easily cover more than 50% of the questions. Let me explain how. Before we dive into Kubernetes cluster architecture, many people often struggle to grasp the difference between the Docker, Container D, Run C and so. These are the components in the container world that we need to understand first. Linux also has the feature called control group drivers, which plays a significant role in Kubernetes configuration. Once we grasp these features, it becomes easier to understand one of the major components of nodes known as Kubernetes and how it is decoupled using CRI. After that, we need to understand the components of a Kubernetes cluster and the flow of how to creating a pod. However, knowing this isn't enough for deep practical understanding. We need to follow hands-on session to bootstrap a cluster using the right configuration files. Additionally, we need to comprehend the cluster certificates and configuration files, as well as the communication between each components. Even though setting up cluster practically won't directly help to solve troubleshooting questions, we still lack of a complete understanding of our entire flow. To overcome this, we should manually add a node to the cluster. Only then we will gain the confidence to tackle any troubleshooting questions. Moreover, knowing how to change the control group driver of a worker node will make us familiar with all the configuration files. This profound knowledge will help us to solve any type of troubleshooting questions during a CKA exam. During the exam, remember that you are allowed to refer the Kubernetes documentation. Trust me, all the answers are hidden somewhere in the documentation. If you can quickly access the right page during the exam, you will save the time and come out on top. Certainly, there will be one or two questions from the cheat sheet. Keep the cheat sheet as the default page in your browser when you are starting the CKA exam. Again, this is about finding information using the right keyword. For example, if you need to create a pod with empty directory, search for pod volume and go to the page title, configure a pod to use a volume for storage. If you are already familiar with these pages, it will be easy to find what you need. When we dive into workloads and scheduling, we should have practically familiar with pods, namespaces, command and arguments, pod resource limits, empty directory, empty directory with sidecar as well as sidecar with command and arguments, init containers, probes, content lifecycle hooks, pod matrix as well as node matrix. Mostly there will be a question on that one as well as we have to know deployment, deployment scale, HPA that is horizontal pod auto scaling. There may be a question on that one. We have to know a stateful set, daemon set and rolling update and rollback. We should know entire flow practically how to do the rolling update. Also, we should be able to switch to revisions. Of course, config maps, secrets. When scheduling, node selector, pod definity and anti affinity, node labels, node affinity, taint and tolerance, cordon and uncordon. We have to know practically all these features. And when it's come to services and networking, we have to know the service type practically, cluster IP, node pod, how that is working as well as endpoint, external name, endpoint slice, headless services. We should have done these all practically and understand. Also, we must be able to go to the right page in the documentation. And when it's come to storage, we should know usually volume providers maybe we need to deal with the host path or nfs path definitely we are not going to create any volume providers during the exam but we should be able to create persistent volume that is pv as well as persistent volume claim this will help us to decouple the volumes with pods as well as we must know practically about storage class and its features and that will help us not to create persistent volume manually also, when it's come to cluster configurations, we must know this authentication, authorization, 
definitely not admission control that is part of a cks exam so when it comes to authentication we must be able to create users in the right way using yaml definitions and we have to give the permission to using role role binding as well as cluster role cluster role binding this is really very easy if you follow the right documentation and again we must know how to create service account is another type of user that helps a pod to communicate with the cluster also we must know how to upgrade the cluster definitely there will be a question on upgrading the cluster we must know what is major version minor version what is the rules to follow to upgrade the versions practically we have to know this also again we should follow the right documentation during the exam and then cluster backup using hcd we must know all hcd cli relative commands to backup and restore the cluster state finally the main tool is the coop controller if you add alias to coop controller as k so that you don't want to type coop controller all the time k is well enough most of the commands if you know how to execute using coop controller fast we will simply succeed our exam this is one of the udemy course covering all these topics if you paid and subscribe to another course no need to buy this in this course there are preview videos you can follow adding worker node manually configure c group driver so these two will help you to troubleshoot any type of questions if you are interested in learning and are encountering any challenges with the payment process kindly send me an email with your details i will be glad to assist in finding a suitable solution and offering a potential discount again following a ck exam is not difficult good luck for your certified kubernetes administrator exam we know this is the syllabus for the cka exam from cncf we know about these sections but if you find out exactly what type of questions will come there will be around 15 to 20 questions covered during the ck exam also note there is no any mcq questions every questions we have to answer practically so that time is the main concern we have to do very fast and we have to be very familiar with coop controller command or we used to say cube cutle tool so if we go through exactly what type of questions will come there may be a question on services and also how to edit services especially create and manage kubernetes services there may be another question on creating secrets and service accounts create and use service accounts for controlling access to kubernetes api definitely there will be another question on logs retrieve and analyze logs from pods using coop cutle then there will be a question on replication factor define and manage the replication factor for applications in kubernetes matrix use coop cutle top command to monitor resource usage such cpu and memory also there will be another question on creating endpoint manually for services another question on container image upgrade so we should know how to upgrade container images for running pods while minimizing disruption and side cars or we call it multiple containers within a pod we should know how to add multiple containers and also we should know how to collect the logs from a container of a pod being in another container within the same pod then there will be a question definitely on rbac role based access control and there may be a question on init container we use init containers to perform setup tasks before the main application container starts in a pod so this is not multi container init container execute certain tasks before the regular container starts then there will be a question on pods and node affinity use affinity rules to influence the scheduling of pods on the nodes based on nodes attributes definitely there is a question on volumes there will be a question on empty directory as well as pv and pvc and also there will be a question on storage class so we must know how to manage different type of volumes in kubernetes most of the time there is a question on storage class to expand the volume of a pvc and of course there is a question on network policy we must know how to define and enforce network policies to control the communication between pods in a kubernetes cluster there is a question on ingress we must know how to define ingress another question on hcd to perform backup and restore operations cluster upgrade hcd and cluster upgrade are most of the time compulsory questions finally there will be a question definitely on troubleshooting we have to identify and resolve issues on worker nodes i have covered all these type of questions through my lessons the prerequisite for this training is basic linux knowledge 